Hey, how's it going, Dennis? Uh, welcome to Detroit. Uh, what was your initial reaction to the uh, trade and what sort of opportunity do you see here with the Pistons for yourself? Uh, I was super excited. I was super excited. I was down in the G and I was getting ready to go out and play with the guys and have our first scrimmage. And I heard the news and, um, you know, I was, just, I was just smiling all day. Uh, super excited. Couldn't really sleep that night. Um, and I'm just looking at it as an opportunity, a uh, fresh start, like me and Coach talked about, and I'm going to make the most out of it. Next, we'll go to Keith Langlois. Hey, Dennis. Um, thanks for doing this. I, I'm wondering, I know you were in the same uh, draft class as Josh Jackson, and you you probably noticed, uh, you know, he, this is this is third NBA stop as it is yours, and he's kind of found some traction here. Do you take some encouragement from that? Um, definitely, definitely. Even when he was catching buzz, you know, I would hit him up and uh, just send him a message like, man, keep going. Uh, you know, it's, it's like support. You know, I was super happy to see what he was doing, and um I think the Pistons organization, like the people that have in place, is a large part of that. You know, just give them that opportunity that and they believed in them. I always believed in them. So, you know, it's great to see what he's doing. And how do you, how do you, um, obviously, I, I imagine you are looking at this as a similar opportunity for to you. Do you feel like you're at a point in your career where you're um, prepared to take advantage of that opportunity as Josh has? Yes, I feel like I'm prepared for that opportunity. All right, now we'll go to Rod Beard. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, welcome to Detroit. I uh, wanted to ask you about, uh, they said, Dennis, or um, Coach said that you were eager to get into the playbook and to watch film and do things like that. What have your past couple of days been like in trying to get up to speed on, on the Piston system, what they do, terminology, all of that stuff? Uh, I think it's been going pretty well. I had them shoot over the uh, the playbook and I watched it on the video. Uh, it's kind of, so a lot of the terminology I understand and then going out today, going over the plays with the team, uh, just getting out there, you know, I feel like I'll be able to make that adjustment pretty smooth. Um, so I, I, think it's, I think it's been great so far. Did it feel kind of natural in, in, in your first practice and going through some of that stuff physically and just the new guys and everything else? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I, I love to play basketball. Uh, I like being a great teammate, you know, and I feel like we have a great group of, group of guys here. So it's kind of easy to fit in and measure those guys. Appreciate it, man. I'll go to Stefan Bondi. Hey, Dennis, what's going on? What's up, bro? Uh, uh, just, you know, looking back at the time in New York, why do you think it just didn't work out? Um. I can't, I'm not sure, you know, um, but I will say I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity that they gave me and to all the people that supported me, whether it's in media or even the fans that supported me, you know, I'm thankful for those guys as well. And I know you made the decision to play in the G League before the trade. I mean, can you talk about that and what went into that? Um, truth be told, man, I, I was feeling sharp. You know, I was really feeling sharp and I wanted to keep playing. I wanted to keep that level of, um, of confidence about myself and about my game. And just like, really the base of it is just wanting to play basketball, you know? And that's what I had the opportunity to do. And they didn't have to let me, they didn't have to grant their request. So I appreciate that too. Thank you. I'll go to Mark Berman. Uh, hey Dennis. Um, so you, when you went to the G League, I mean, was there an understanding that maybe they would look for a different spot for you or what was that type of discussion did you want to you said you were smiling all day i mean were you realizing that you might need a, a fresh start somewhere else so when i went down to the g it was simply like simply just to play basketball i just want to play basketball it was nothing else to it like oh he might be moved or such and such whatever whatever it's just i want to play basketball and i realized that would give me opportunity to do that so um you know, I took advantage of it. And I went down there like I was ready to hoop. I was down there with my boy Miles. And um, I actually got close with a lot of guys on the team in the brief time that I was there. So that was just all about hooping. And I was smiling hard because, like, I was excited for the opportunity. And I knew what kind of guy Coach Casey was. Um, great coach, great person. So being able to be with him, I was looking forward to that. Best of luck to you, Dennis.
Thank you. Now I'll go to Lauren Williams. Hi, Dennis. Welcome to Detroit. Um, Coach Casey said that you had a very spirited practice today. So how would you rate your, your first day here in Detroit? Um, enthusiastic, I'll say. If I have to take one word, I say enthusiastic, you know. Uh, just coming in and trying to be like a, a, a spark for the team and give my all every day, put my best foot forward every day and do whatever I can to help us win games. All right, next we'll go to James Edwards. Hey, Dennis, welcome to Detroit. Um, the record doesn't really tell the whole story for Detroit. I, I don't know how much you've been able to pay attention to six wins, but they've been in pretty much every single game and beaten some big teams. Have you have you noticed that? Have you had conversations just kind of about the culture that the team is building, uh, building here and kind of what Dwayne's looking for from, from you and the other young guys that are still trying to make their place uh, for this team going forward? Absolutely. Absolutely. So even my first my first um, night here in Detroit, I spent it. Me and my girl stayed up watching the Bad Boys documentary. You know, it was like my 10th time watching it, but it's her first time. And that just that's about the culture. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about the city and how uh, the city embraces tough basketball in Detroit. And I can tell with the guys we got on the team, you know, they're about the same thing. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fully aware of what's being built here. And right, we'll have one final question from Christos. Hello, Dennis. What's up, bro? Welcome to Detroit. I would like to ask you, how refreshing is this move for you and your career? And do you feel that you have a chip on your shoulder to, to prove something on the court? Uh, it's super refreshing, and I'm going to go out there with a chip on my shoulder that I always had. Um, I'm going to go out there and compete at a high level, uh, try to execute and try to win games. Um, in terms of, of coming out and trying to prove something, you know, I think it, it's definitely more important to prove things to myself. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I want to do. I believe in myself, and I know I got people here that believe in me. And um, I think that's the first step to really – tapping into some greatness here. And the follow-up uh, this season, Jeremy Grant is the leader of this team on the court. How excited you are about uh, this collaboration with Blake Griffin and Jeremy? How excited you are about that? I'm super excited. Those are two really, really good players. Uh, you know, they understand the game. They play They play well together. They play the right way. Me and Jeremy just finished getting some work in after practice, some extra shots. So. He's all about his work, and I've been hearing that from other people. You know, people that were his teammates at OKC, they was like, he's all about his work. Great dude, one of the most solid people in the league. So, uh, you know, I'm super excited to bond him and, and getting better with him. Best of luck and full of health. Thank you, thank you. Right, thanks for the time, Dennis. You're all set. Peace.